In previous videos, we've looked into various projects currently under development by DARPA, the U.S. Department of Defense's research arm. Today, our focus shifts to yet another program worth exploring. In the midst of the ongoing hypersonic arms race as well as America's renewed emphasis on deterring adversaries, DARPA quietly introduced the Gambit high-speed missile program back in 2022. The program aims to leverage a novel method of propulsion, with potential implications extending beyond weapon development to impact high-speed aircraft or the power systems of naval ships. So, in this video, let's take a closer look at the Gambit program and its potential impact on the evolving landscape of warfare and technology. The Gambit program focuses on creating rotating detonation engines, or RDEs. These engines are a new type of propulsion that could help next-generation fighters hit time-sensitive targets from a distance. But what's special about rotating detonation engines? These engines have been a topic of scientific discussion for a while, but turning the idea into a practical product hasn't really happened yet. Simply put, these engines could be much better than regular jet engines. They might help missiles go farther and faster, allowing us to use smaller weapons that match or exceed the speed and range of the current missile technology. Unlike regular ramjets, rotating detonation engines are smaller, which means they can carry more fuel. They're also less complicated than gas turbine engines. These features make rotating detonation engines a good fit for DARPA's Gambit program goals. Rotating detonation engines bring potential advantages to jet fighters too, offering similar benefits to missiles in terms of increased range and speed. This technology has the potential to cut down maintenance requirements. For jet fighters that heavily rely on afterburners, RDEs could provide a significant thrust boost with a much reduced fuel penalty, enhancing operational efficiency. The application of RDEs extends beyond missiles and jet fighters. It holds substantial promise for powering the Navy's future non-nuclear surface vessels, delivering enhanced power production, extended range, and increased speed. Despite DARPA initiating the Gambit program in 2022, it was nearly a year later that the major U.S. defense company RTX received the contract to develop a functional engine demonstrator. According to DARPA, the contractual agreement mandates Raytheon to follow a two-phase process. In Phase 1, the focus is on the preliminary design of the demonstrator, supported by combustor and inlet testing. Phase 2 involves detailed design, fabrication, and testing of the FreeJet test article, potentially laying the groundwork for future prototype weapon development. Future plans for the Gambit program might also include hardware development for a flight weight free jet test. While DARPA and Raytheon are at the forefront of this endeavor, it's worth noting that other entities are also exploring RDE technology. Stanford University, through its Naval Postgraduate School, is engaged in RDE research as part of a specialized research group. A collaborative Chinese project, involving both private and public sectors, claims to have developed a functional RDE-powered drone, which reportedly completed a recent test flight, according to Chinese media, Rotating detonation engines have the potential to enhance the capabilities of jet fighter aircraft, boost the speed of missiles, extend the range of ships, and reduce the costs of rocket launches. This forward-reaching technology could find applications not only in the global defense landscape, but also have positive implications in the civilian sector. While the question about RDEs was once if they would become a reality, it now seems to be a matter of when. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.